What is coming on guys today? We are looking at James Rodriguez, the 22k SBC from today. So we did get a bit of an update from Everton, uh, what was it, yesterday? I think it was half an hour before they released him. Then they gave an SBC basically, uh, thumbnail on Twitter. So we knew that James was coming today. Um, obviously, the, the content weren't amazing. To say this was week two... There's been so many issues over literally the past 24 hours. We've had foot champs delayed. We've had pre-season packs practically delayed or even just not handed out. To then say that we have to go to them if we didn't get the packs. For me, it's been a little bit of a shambles, to be honest. But we still work for it. Obviously, the SBCs are still happening. And we're trying to do as many as we can. We At the minute, we have done them all. I feel like that will come to a crashing stop as soon as we come up against someone who is absolutely mega expensive but so far so good some of the sbcs have been a little bit priced or a bit pricey whereas hammers easy one 22k it's an 82 rated team nothing really too taxing right there or i think it's 83 in fact i can't remember now but it's not very expensive it's a very simple sbc we'll have a look at it in the end review but for me He's a four-star skiller two-star weak foot he's got the left foot 511 medium medium work rates and the problem with him is his pace. His pace is just awful. It's it, it literally is 58 on his base. With a basic, is 61 at the very minimum. That's the lowest you can get it in terms of just a basic chem that does with uh, it does put a bit of pace on him. Obviously, you want to be looking at a hunter. I think that would be the main one for me, especially playing him in that kind of cam role. Even though I don't want to add so much to his shooting. It's got to be the way. I don't really want to put a catalyst on as I think his passing is already pretty fantastic. He's got great dribbling. Yes, agility balance isn't amazing. Still definitely does the job. And everything else is actually really nice with him. He has 92 ball control on the base. He has 88 dribbling, 89 composure and 85 reactions. For me, he's got a very, a very kind of small dribbling circle if you get what i mean he can move the ball he can shift it left to right with absolute ease and he's got some good really good clips coming up in terms of his dribbling and just moving around players effortlessly and that's what i like about a dribbler literally if this guy just had 20 more pace or even 15 more pace on his bait on his base card i'd be happily putting a hunter on him or even happily putting a catalyst on him just to manage to get that little bit extra pace onto him to make him into kind of that semi-decent paced cam he is a really good cam no weak foot really four star skills is nice pace is shocking shooting's good passing's good and dribbling's good so three out of four yes physicality i kind of throw out the water and defending i don't want him as a defender is this my cam he's there to shoot for goal not to uh to kind of intercept and pass and all of that it will <laughs> pass yes of course but defend that's what i meant so overall let's get into some gameplay see how we got on so we got some gameplay for you in general i felt like he did all right yes he weren't the most clinical player or he just didn't really have too much going on he managed to get himself on the ball quite a lot and there is quite a few clips from him he does manage to score uh, a little bit of a lucky goal he does get it in i think his skills were quite nice he felt really nice to dribble on the ball and that's a great save right there but i felt like he was good on the ball in terms of his dribbling really fancy player manages to get the touches and the and they kind of turns with it but in terms of the overall finish this was a beautiful goal gets it going one way turns the other way completely 180 is it runs inside and just knocks it past the keeper i can't argue with that that's cracking play love the dortmund kit as well by the way i feel like he's one of them players that it's going to be there as an untradeable icon swaps. That's really all he's going to be useful. And even then, once that does come out, you're going to have better midfielders. For me, he's very bog standard average in terms of what we've actually got. But for 22k for a player that potentially could go up, who knows? We could be sitting here in a month's time and he could be an 86. We could be sitting here in eight months time and he's a 94. But we don't know that. That's the risk you're taking. For 22k, I'm quite happy to put another special in the club. We're still going for the kind of whole SBCs completed. We've done all the weeklies, which is just one at the minute. We've done all the SBCs, which I think is about five or six. Very, very simple on some of them. I think he's a good player, just not quite the most meta player at this moment in time. But anyway, let's get into the overall end review and see how we got on over there. Right then, going into the overall. 
22k, 20k, 20k. He's a good player. He just isn't the meta. He's a fun player to play with. Very, a very good dribbling. And that's one thing that I do want to stress. He was really good on the ball. Passing was really nice. He felt firm. He felt quick. Some really beautiful balls down the wing. Making them curve runs. He's got the vision for it. He's got the long pass for it. And really can ping a ball completely down the wing for your wingers to grab on. Then all you need is a striker up top to absolutely bury it. Which, with some of the crossing nowadays... You pretty much can do with most strikers. As long as they've got a little bit about them, more than likely can go in. In terms of the SBC value, I feel like it's a yes. If we do go into the SBC, just to make sure that I'm completely right with the requirements, he requires you an 82 rated team, 65 chem, which I think is fair, one in form. Again, that's what makes it a little bit pricey. And then a minimum of one Premier League player. Very, very simple to do. He's such an easy SBC. Obviously, there's no packs back, which is unfortunate. But to be honest, packs have been a little bit terrible right now. In terms of his stats, and if we move down, um, we can have a look. Pace is abysmal. It's the one thing that I really hate on this card. Physicality, I can normally let slide. I feel like that is a kind of... It's a bonus if he has it. If he doesn't have it, you just keep people off him. That's all you got to do. Pass and a move, and that's what he's good at. In terms of everything else, great shooting. I think, obviously, as a cam, I'm, pre I'm rating that pretty highly. In terms of passing, phenomenal. Good crossing. Short and long, pretty decent. Visions up there. Even curves there, which is a nice little trait to have. Trait-wise, we've got outside of the foot shot and flair. So, obviously, that makes sense for a lot of his passing and some of his shooting. In terms of dribbling, agility balance, it's on a high average at this moment in the game. Obviously, we as we go further into the game, we see that rise up, up and up and up and up. But obviously right now, it's still a little bit less. Composure is nice, dribbling is nice, ball control is nice and reaction is good. For me, that's a solid through. If you was to put a basic on him, in terms of foot bin, he becomes an 88 rated cam. If you put the hunter on, which gives him 68 pace and 94 shooting, you're looking at an 86 cam. For me, I would probably still go with the Hunter. Basic does do a little bit of a job, does get a bit of everywhere, and I do like that, and I think that's going to be one of the big things to really have a look at because that's his base. That is absolutely just day one playing. That's what you'll get. And I think that's not terrible. Like I say, the pace is the issue, but whether the Hunter really fixes it, uh, personally with mine, I still felt like he had that little bit of a slow mentality to him. I don't know if that is just how I'm playing with him or in general how he plays. So let me know down below if you've done it. Let me know what you think about him and make sure you subscribe. Thanks.